up? Yeah. You are Puerto Rican, and Nicole, you are from Honduras. Honduras. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, not to put parents on blast, but how does your parents feel about interracial dating? Well, straight up, in my house, my parents are not having it with black people. You know, my parents are very strict, they're old-fashioned. They grew up in Honduras, and, you know, my grandma didn't like... You say, now, you said black people or black dudes? Black dudes. Oh, yes, yeah, so you gotta you gotta make sure you say that right, girl. Right. <laughs> because... <laughs> <laughs> I said black people. <laughs> black people. What is it about black men that, that the parents don't like? <laughs> All right. So my parents, you know, they're very strict and they were raised old fashioned. And, you know, my grandma, my dad's mom didn't, she didn't really like black guys. So my brother, my grandma had a, a, a daughter and she dated a black guy in Honduras and that's when it started you know my grandma got very crazy she was like you're gonna mess up the family you know we don't want those people in our family we want to keep it Spanish the old traditional way we can't we can't have another race in our family so then you know my dad grew up with that so then my dad had me and my sister and he would always tell us you guys can't date a black guy. You guys gonna mess up the family. And how how is that gonna look with our family in Honduras? How are they gonna judge us? We can't be different. We have to be the same. So it's like they got raised a certain way. We have to follow that structure that my grandma left, you know? Do you agree with it? Me personally, because I grew up here in America, I don't see it that way because we live such in a very diverse community. Of, yeah, so it's like you see Dominican with Mexican, mm -hmm. Chinese with Indian, Greek with Puerto Rican. So it's like, you know, you see all these types of races mixing up together. It's like, I don't agree with that because it's like, there's so many things that you can find like I could date a black guy or I could date a Chinese guy or Indian guy It's like you just can't pick one. Mm -hmm. You gotta you gotta have them all <laughs> You know, do they, do they stress that is that the same applied to white and Asian men as well or they just distinctly said black? It's between black and Dominican they like that's a no there was a you could date an indian you can date a mexican you can date a chinese it's a, i guess it's just like the dark skin color but i was i don't really agree with that I tell my wow. parents i, I tell yeah. my parents you know we're living in a different universe we can't we can't have that anymore that's racist it is it is very racist but you know there's nothing i can really do but i try to tell them you know we have to change it up we have to switch it up you know they can't tell me who i can't date you know. Wow, that's that's deep. I mean, appreciate you being honest with mm -hmm. that. Do you feel that the fact that they, to some degree, when your dad felt that way not to date a black man, did you say as you got older, like, hmm, why did he say that? Like, did you find yourself getting more curious because of the the rule that was implanted from your parents? Yeah, I was very curious because I'm like, you know, I'm like, w what's the harm in it? Like what's the problem of dating a black guy? What is so bad? What about if they actually bring something good in the table? You know, what about if they actually make me become a better person? You know, everybody has their own um, type of flavor. What are their flavor? You know, so it's like, I'm curious. Like, I can show you my, I can show you my Spanish flavor, but what's your African flavor? You know, like, I want to know what is it what it's like to to deal with people like that because it's like we're always surrounded by Spanish people. We we already know what it is. Oh yeah, what's up? Yeah.